the network was created there in Milan. So we tried to convey the, the, the message and to bring students to think about these issues of uh, sustainability. And uh, the network is now in 45 different countries. And we deal a lot with communication design. Um, and now we're stepping into the production of movies and films and small videos. So what you're going to see today, you're about to see the, um, some very short uh, productions of Milan. Milan Polytechnic. After this, uh, we're going to be seeing some projects from Amplify, from our design school in Parsons in New York. There's a thesis lab, and we're going to have two examples uh, about using bicycles in New York and how they have improved the waterfront. Um, and then we're going to have some two examples as well from the thesis Parsons um, and uh, partners in California by Design Matters, which is another laboratory from the Design uh, Network. And then after this, you're going to see uh, some other videos of a project within the network, which is called This is in the Mirror. This in the Mirror was a research that we started in Milan Politecnico with other two colleagues. And we wanted to know what was the vision of designers in terms of moving images. I mean, how do we can, how can we really convey the issue of uh, sustainability by means of, um, of films? So that's the This is in the Mirror, it's a, it's a project that took us like about four months. We interviewed 13 people in different parts of the world according to the labs. Also we contacted some artists, so you're going to see one of the persons who works here with Ola Eliasson, we have people in Thailand. So are those interviews that you're going to be seeing, three of them. And after that you're going to see a block of, um, of another partner of us, which is uh, Ambulante Mexico. Mm, they have given cameras to people in South America, in Central America, and in, well, in Mexico and Central America to tell more about their issues and their problems. So they are like mining problems, uh, women kind of uh, social issues. So how they give voices to these kind of initiatives. So I, I prefer to just go with the films. If there is time and we have more space, if you have questions, I, I would be glad to answer them. Like, okay, go to Kreuzberg, go to Neukölln, go to Wiesbaden, blah, blah, blah. And 
try to find what is there still that can be rescued, like people getting together to eat, like all these kind of uh, theater on the streets, or what can be rescued. And then the second task is how do you communicate this in a very simple way, in a very short way. And then the third task is more in terms of production, like how do you make a storyboard, how can you edit this kind of information. As you can see, each one of these uh, shorts um, are very, they have a, a, a good production behind. I mean, each one of the sounds is there because of the reason. You know? So in editing, we, we try to, to make them convey this, this message, but on a, on, a, on, a, on a creative way, because what we found that especially the projects regarding social innovation and sustainability are not being told properly. Somehow they look very, you know, low profile. These people that we know about recycling and these neighbors, so we really would like to operate them, and that's why and where communication design enters into play. And that's what this uh, this is in the mirror also is about. You know, how can we improve the language and the level? And there is where we met with the people uh, working in the film industry because we really believe that all these visuals have to touch somehow people you know, go go and pierce them there. You know. So it's, it's it's talking about the different neighborhoods. And this, the time, time bank, for instance, is something that exists? Yeah, or it, it does exist. No, 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 it exists. It's very spread in, in, in the whole of Italy, I would say. Not only there, like, people are keen to do it. to document workshops. We also use video when we work with students as research, right? So ethnographic research. So they go to the field, they talk to people, they collect a lot of interviews, observations. I have a question. Um, because I, I saw the word storytelling used in the documentary and I wanted to know if the, the, the stories, uh, the films they, they did uh, are selected by the association or if it's the first one coming to... Or Which in particular, because they are different, like they are different sorts of writing the stories. For instance, the one from New York, it was a grant that they got from Rockefeller Foundation, so it was yeah. very precise, and they okay. had to go for a script and do the whole storytelling okay. process. For the one in, in, um, in, in California, from this is the Chile and Peru, mm -hmm. the, as you can see here, it's more documenting what they did instead of like having planned a film for that. No, it was more like telling the story of what you had seen. Yeah, yeah because storytelling uh, story is also um, choosing to to show a concrete uh, story and sometimes a bit uh, tough, a bit uh, hard. Uh, I mean, in reality, and it might be a bit uh, um, uh, travestied the reality on the on the. Yeah, there. I posed that question, and that is in the mirror. That was one of our main concerns last year yeah. that we met because we, especially with editing, we were asking, uh, you know, mm. asking ourselves like. To which point you, as an editor, tell the truth, you know? Because yeah. I mean, oh, you can you can just edit all the images you get there. You can just write so many things out. So, and especially with this kind of project, there are many approaches to sustainability and design, and then how you tell these stories in communication design. Um, because the guys that went to Chile and Peru, they are more into the artifact yet. They are still there trying to say, we are bringing this to people, whereas we are trying to map more solutions coming from the people mm -hmm. instead of bringing them an artifact. In all cases, we are, we are researching in this issue of social innovation and storytelling, mm -hmm. trying to understand that we do design communication artifacts. So we're trying to jump from a Lessi design from Ferrari. From, I mean, they can also do it because of school design, and all of the Lessi labs are based in school design, mm -hmm. so like a Rexy. But um, but then you, we try to convey to our students the message that they are also communication artifacts. Mm -hmm. So a film 
is a community, is an artifact. For us, in terms of research and theory, is an artifact. For sure. And uh, about, uh, say, Fagua Peru, um, the, the, the objects created through the, the design school, um, I didn't see anything about uh, showing to the people how to create, to recreate this uh, this object. But they use it. It's not that they recreate it. They, uh, but they. Ho I mean, I know these guys, and they are very like serious in that. Last time they went to Colombia, <laughs> and they are really because they are really into that. That is more called um, social design and the design for the ninety percent of the population. Okay. So it's. And we, as a network, and especially in the chapter working in communication design, we are not into that kind of design so much, although it does exist a lot. Uh -huh. We think that we really need to go beyond the art of the mayor, you know, washing machine. Yeah, yeah, of course. So, um, if I understand correctly, after like they, they created this uh, this washing machine, for example, but there is a uh, is there. A, some people while staying there or just giving the, the tools to, to do it again because no, they are very nice and very fancy yeah. but I'm not sure they're gonna... Uh, yeah, I have the same, I have the same perception. Yeah. When they go to Colombia, it's like you pay, you go to a poor country in the third war and you bring the solutions yeah, to the Colombia and, stuff, and blah, blah. Yeah. But uh, at a certain extent, they, it does work, especially because in Chile, for instance, they are working with Techo Parami Pais and Techo Parami Pais is now in all over South America. Yeah. And, and so they, as soon as they go there, they engage with uh, partners based on the country, so that okay. they can they can assure that there's going to be a okay. continuation of the project. So it's not that they go land, but they go and work together with each one of those organizations. And we did that in the Chupacabras is all over like Argentina, Colombia, whatever. Mm -hmm. Now it's growing and it's getting steadier. And for what uh, respects to that kind of design is working pretty well, but as I say, we are more into the intangible kind of things. Of course. Thanks. So, uh, five minutes for the polls, and uh, we look uh, ambulante. And then we will see the excerpts from Ambulante Film Festival uh, that are bringing films from Mexico and Central America. So, we are rising. A very poetic those ones coming here. I'm talking about traditions in Mexico, okay. the old folklore there. Beer, drinks, beer. <laughs> and kitchen. <laughs> when I watched it, I remembered uh, having filmed a project in Paris. Uh, that is quite similar to what they propose there. This maison a ouvert à l'initiative de Vélorution, le collectif qui anime l'atelier, et de mieux dépenser la bicyclette, l'association qui se trouve de l'autre côté, sur le bassin de l'arsenal. Le détruit, etc. Là, il est remis en état. Et vous I'm sorry, I had to delete a uh, couple of documentaries because I was told that we were running out of time. So people in Mexico were like expecting, you know, having you here watching other films. But we need to finish today our piece of Mexico, so I, I just delete two of them, so we're going to just see three, three other documentaries. festival because now these things I mean all these kind of documentaries have been gathered and are an itinerant 
festival. So right now they're going to be uh, in California from the 28th of uh, September to the 4th of October and in many different places in the world, well, they went to Colombia, blah, blah, blah. and so what, what interested them is to give visibility to these kind of realities, not just giving the camera to the indigenous communities, but also to, to be professional on that. So this Ambulante in Mexico, they created a film school for these indigenous people and for farmers, I mean for people living in, in the outskirts, not just in the cities. And the film town. Yeah, I think the uh, <coughs> and you can feel that that that's that something you know, very emotional. Mm -hmm. I think a very Latin American kind of they have this mood. Yeah. Okay. Mm -hmm. Which kind of part of Mexico um, have been filmed the, the first two? I mean, also the last. The uh, the, se uh, the, uh, the last yeah. one. Uh, the Mecha, the first one, where, which part of Mexico is it? I don't, I'm not sure okay. where the oh, Mex is so from. The, se the other was in Guatemala. Uh, and the second one is in Guatemala. It's Guatemala. Oh, and, it's not Mexico. Uh, and the, no, because it's Mexico and Central America. Ah, okay. And then the last one is there in this. In, if you go to the map, because I was curious to know where is this eolic plant was, was intended to be. So it's right by the ocean and uh, it's very relevant. And significant what they did because they really stopped these guys from going with this huge park. I mean, you see them with you know the strings and the pebbles, and they managed to stop this big multinational. You know, like sort of a Monsanto there. And yeah, they were what is the, also interesting is uh, um, well uh, a sustainable development wind uh, this yeah, wind farms, yeah, yeah, exactly, but yeah. but. Uh, but it is uh, just uh, because it's ruining the whole. It has nothing nature, to do yeah. because there are also wind farms in 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 uh, Baltic Sea, but yeah. they are not at all sustainable. Yeah, and so know. we have to to say also that uh, it, it's a little bit uh, well, I find it a uh, kind of uh, swindle to to develop uh, mm -hmm. such projects and to, and to say it is. Or climate change or yeah, all this greenwashing like. that you have, and also Shell starts. Yeah, we're working now with gas and renewable, and the wind is so important. And then Hyundai and Honda and all these cars. Yeah, we have the hybrid car. So that's why we don't really uh, like focusing on artifacts, <laughs> but rather in the solutions given by the people themselves. Yes. Okay.